Unpacking cold water. More than just a temperature. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a phrase that seems straightforward but actually holds a variety of meanings and uses in the English language, cold water. Whether you're a beginner or looking to brush up on your English nuances, understanding phrases like this is key to sounding like a native speaker. So, let's explore together and add some cool new knowledge to your English reservoir. At its most basic level, Cold water refers to water that is at a low temperature, the kind that can give you a chill if you're not expecting it. It's the opposite of warm or hot water and can be anything from the refreshing drink you have on a hot day to the water you swim in at the beach that sends a shiver up your spine. But as we'll see, cold water does much more than just describe temperature in English. English is rich with idioms, and cold water is part of some key expressions. When someone throws cold water on something, it means they're discouraging or dampening enthusiasm. For example, if you're excited about an idea and someone points out all the reasons it won't work, they're throwing cold water on your idea. Similarly, if someone says they had a cold water realization, they're talking about a moment of sudden, often unpleasant, clarity, like the metaphorical shock of being splashed with cold water. In some cultures, cold water carries specific symbolic meanings. It can be associated with purity, cleansing, or even hardship. In literature and song lyrics, cold water can be used metaphorically to represent a range of emotions and situations. Paying attention to the context can help you understand the deeper meaning behind the phrase. Now, let's put this into practice. You want to use cold water accurately in a sentence, considering its literal and idiomatic uses. Remember, if you're talking about the actual temperature of water, you're using it literally. When you're using it to describe a situation or feeling, you're venturing into idiomatic territory. Let's see some examples. Literal, I prefer drinking cold water in the summer. Idiomatic, he poured cold water on our plans to expand the business. There you have it. The phrase, cold water, can be as simple or as deep as the context it's used in. I hope this video helps clarify not just the meaning, but also the versatility of English phrases. Keep practicing, stay curious, and I'll see you next time for another splash into the English language.